Hellerai here. This is in response to the Metatron regarding his recent video on how to punch. And specifically, it's just something I wanted to add, which was brought to mind by something the Metatron said. And that was when he was talking about how the guy he got into a fight with how he became friends with that guy, how they went out the next day and they had a pizza. Now, I've been in my fair share of fights, and I think I think it's a good thing that I can say that I've seen a lot more fights than I've been in, at least. And from my experience, I'd have to say that most of the time, it's someone in your sphere. If you're not directly friends with them, maybe they're a friend of a friend, or there's someone in your neighborhood, it's, it's very rarely a total stranger, and so it is good to make peace. After you guys hash it out, after you get out whatever you needed to get out of your systems, make peace. And I don't, you know, I, in the case of uh, his story, he's talking about it kind of happened the next day, or you know, maybe they were friendly almost immediately afterwards. I, I don't know the, the whole situation there, but as soon as you can, like if you win a fight and that guy's on the ground and he's hurt and go over there and help him up. You know, give him your hand and say, here, let me help you up. You all right? You good? You okay? Are we cool? Can I buy you a beer? Do you smoke? You want to smoke? Make peace with them. And that's another thing too. Peace, peace doesn't come without a peace offering. You know, in in his case, it was a pizza the next day, uh, but it can be anything. You know, you just you take them out for a burger right then and there if you can. You know, um, buy them a beer, give them a smoke, something like that. Sit down and have a smoke together. Talk a little bit. Make sure that you guys are you're good. It's it's more than just trying to be a good person too. It's it's kind of for your own benefit as well. There's there's something a little selfish about it in, in a certain respect. You know, let's say somebody called the cops after you got into a fight and the cops roll up and this guy's still pissed that you got the better of them and cop wants to know if any charges need to be pressed. He might say, yeah, that guy right there, that guy hit me. But uh, if you guys hashed it out long before that cop ever shows up, assuming one does, and he comes up, what's the problem here? You know, that, that guy's a lot less likely, I think, at least, at least in, from what I've seen and, and in my own experience, that guy's a lot less likely to say, this guy hit me, he's a lot more likely to say, no, it was nothing. You know, not, nothing happened. It's fine. It's cool. You know, if there was a problem, it's resolved now. And there's not going to be any more problems. No, officer, you're not going to have to come back out here tonight. Thank you, officer. Have a good night. And then that also means that if you guys are okay with each other after you get into a fight, he's not going to be looking to come back on you at any point. He's not going to, you know, do that cliche of going to the gym, work, working out, and, and uh, going to the ring and learning the box a little better, and, and anything like that. If you guys hash it out, hell, he's more likely, even if you're not friends past that point, he's more likely to defend you if somebody starts talking shit about you. And I, I generally think that in life we want to make more friends than we do enemies. And that can even go to the extent of wanting to make enemies into friends. If it seems like something that's possible. And you know, if you get your ass kicked and you're lying on the ground and that guy doesn't say shit to you or you just, he's just telling his friends, no, let's get out of here. No, forget this. I'm done here. It can help if, I think, if you go and you try to make peace. You get up. And he might be a little like, oh, he wants more. And be like, no, I'm done. 
I just want to say good fight. Sorry for, you know, whatever thing was between us. And maybe you offered the smoke. Maybe you offered the beer. Maybe you offered the pizza. So it can work both ways. It's not just if you win, it's if you lose too. I think one of the most important things about fighting is what happens after the fight. Somebody going to jail is, is somebody going to jail for a while. Is somebody going to be looking to come back at you because they feel like something's unresolved? Are they going to be talking shit, going around saying, oh, no, I won that fight. No, no, you should see him. He's really fucked up. And I think it, I think a lot of that kind of stuff is decided in the moments immediately after the fight. That's, that's the point to change the script of what could happen. Well, that's all I had to say. Have a good one.